once we get on that automatic sequencer, all actions in the count will be handled automatically by the sequencer. T minus three minutes, seven seconds, and the launch sequence has started. Each sequence now must take place at the right time and in the proper sequence, or it would be automatically cut off. We would get an automatic cut off in the countdown. And that did occur once on Apollo 17, where we had a cut off at the T minus 30 second mark. T minus 45 minutes and counting. T minus two, two minutes, 45 seconds and counting. Everything continuing to move well. One of the first actions taken by the sequencer was terminating the liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen propellant. We'll be uh, pressurizing the tanks at this point. They're pressurized to ensure a smooth flow of fuel down to the engines during the powered phase of flight. The second stage LOX tank now has been pressurized and the first stage fuel tank has been pressurized. We should have pressurization on, on all fuel tanks by the 30-second mark in the countdown. We're approaching the two-minute mark at this point, approaching the two-minute mark in our countdown. Everything is continuing to run smoothly. Mark, T-minus two minutes, T-minus two minutes and counting. Events are coming closed now, tanks being pressurized. At one minute, 25 seconds, we'll look for a second stage fuel tank to be pressurized. We have a large status board here in the firing room which shows these events as they're taking place. First stage fuel tank now pressurized, T minus one minute, 40 seconds. At the T minus one minute, 15 second mark in the countdown, astronaut Deke Slayton will put two switches in the spacecraft to bring the spacecraft batteries online. These batteries will give added electrical power and also are a backup to the fuel cells. At the one minute mark, the water will start pouring onto the flame detector underneath the pad, and at 30 seconds, we'll uh, get water on the mobile launcher deck itself. Deke now has brought those uh, batteries online. T minus one minute, six seconds. The last action performed by the crew will be at T minus 45 seconds. And at that time, Tom Stafford will make a final guidance alignment. T minus 55 seconds. We'll be getting a switch to internal power shortly. All of the uh, tanks now pressurized, and we're switching to internal power. Stafford reports he has made the final GDP line. First stage, second stage, and instrument unit now on internal power. Approaching the 30 second mark in our countdown, water pouring onto the tank deflector now coming onto the uh, deck of the mobile launcher. Everything proceeding smoothly. We'll get a guidance release at the 17 second mark. 20 seconds. The engines will actually start. The engine sequence starts at 3.1 seconds in the countdown. We'll hold down till thrust builds up. 11. Engine ready light on. Nine. 10, 9, 8, eight 7, six, 6, 5, 4, four 3, three two, 2, Engine one, sequence start. Zero. 1, 0. Launch commit. We have a liftoff. All engines building up thrust. Moving out. Clear the tower. Uh, Roger, tire clear. Roger, Tommy, you got good thrust on all engines. It ran out of money. Uh, Roger. I got a roll program. Yeah, started off much. Yeah, she goes pitch program. We'll shake lift off, but it swirls up now. Okay. Try to launch vehicle, beginning, beginning a 45 second maneuver to the proper roll. Trajectory looking good.
Seconds. Flight Director Pete Frank getting another status report around the room and everything looking good. 